Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful stylish flower seed beads earrings. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And in this way, you will know when I release similar jewelries to the ones that I have already done, like these earrings, and I will link to them here. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay hey guys, and what I need for this video are only three colors of 11 oz seed beads. You could use 10 oz, it's up to you. And here I use this lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are not obligatory, but you could use them to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take three feet of thread on my needle. And this is about 90 centimeters. And I'm going to start. Okay guys, and the first thing that I will do is to take 16 beads. Okay, and I have my 16 on my needle. And I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. Then I will make one more knot like this, pull, then I will go in my next beads like this okay now i have a circle of 16 and i will take two red beads and as i'm exiting from this black one i will go back in circle through the same black one okay then i will go through the following two black beads Okay, I'm going here. Now I'm going to take two silvers and I will go back through the bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay, you see? And I have one black bead that separates these two loops of beads, okay? Then I'm going through two. Take two red beads okay and now go to the following two as well not only through this one that I'm going around in circle but through the following two and in this way in one movement I'm exiting out of the beat that I want to be okay then I'm going through the following and through the next two. And this is what I do until the end of this row. Take two. Okay guys, now this is what I have and I want to exit through this red one, okay? And here where this red one is, I will add one silver bead 
and go here in the inner circle through the black one. Okay, and I'm pulling. Then I'm going through this black one and through the silver like that and pull. And here I need two silvers. And in this row, I'm going to add only silver beads. But where my silvers are, I'm going to add two beads. And where my reds are, I'm going to add one silver. Okay, and I take one silver, go here through the red. Okay, then I'm going through this silver here. And I'm going to take two silvers, go here and through the far wing, black one. Then through this red, take just one silver, go here. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now I exit out of this red one and I'm going to take five red beads like that and I'm going here through this red, it's only through the red, not in the inner circle, sorry. Okay, now I have this. Then I will go through these two silver beads. And I will take two silvers and I'm going through these two beads. Then through this red one, not going in the inner circle, but from the silver directly through the red. And I need five reds and I'm going here through this red one. Then going in this direction through the silvers. Okay, and pull. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I'm going to go here in the in this red bead again in my red flower, okay? And I will go through this one at the top and through the following red then I'm going to take two black beads, go here at this silver, take one black, go in the next silver one, 
and then again I'm going to take two black beads and go through these three beads at the top. Okay, this one, this one, and this one at the top of my flower. Okay, then I need two again. Go here in this last silver from the center to the outside. Take one black, go here. Then two more black beads. And go at this tree here at the top. Through all of them. And then guys, I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now as I'm here, I will exit out of this red bead and add three black beads. This red one at the center that's sticking out. Okay. The central one of my tree and now I want to exit out of the next black one that's sticking out here. And I want to take three silver beads and I want to go back through this black one. And then I will go here through those beads. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Where my black is, I'm adding silvers, and where my red is, I'm adding blacks. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I want to make a knot and the first thing I do is that I make a loop and I go once, then I go second time through the loop I've made here. And I make sure that my thread is between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I pull. And when I pull, my next step is to go through the following bead. And then I will cut my thread. Okay. And now guys, my element is ready. I will make more and more elements. And I'll be back to tell you how to assemble them in a brace. Okay guys, and now I have six elements and I'm going to show you how to connect them in a bracelet. And I have a new longer thread on my needle. And I'm going to start by attaching this thread to my first element. And I'm going here through these two black beads. Like that. And I will hold my tail thread with my thumb. And now I'm going to make a loop here. And I'm going once. Then I'm going second time through this loop I've made. 
and I pull and now I have this attached here my thread attached here and in my next step I will go here through all of my beads I will flip my work again and I want to exit here at this side where my black bead is and by the way you could cut this tail thread because you don't need it anymore and now I will show you how to attach your clasp okay and in order to do this I will take two silver beads I will take my clasp slide those down then I will take two more silvers okay now this is what I have here and I will go back through this black bead like this and I'm going to reinforce this Okay guys, and now what I want to do in my next step is reach the other part of my element. And you could take the shortcut through the center if you can, if it's not too tight, or you could go at the edges. The important thing is to reach here. Okay guys, now I'm here and I'm going to take my next element like this and I'm going to attach it, okay? So now I will take one silver bead and as I'm exiting from this black bead, I'm going here through the other black one. Okay, now between those two blacks I have a silver. And I'm going to take one more silver and go here through this black one. Okay, then I pull and when I pull I have this, okay. I have right angle width and now I'm going to reinforce this part here. Okay, do this twice or do this more times, whatever you want. Now I'm going to go through the center of my work like that and exit here. And then I will attach my next element absolutely the same way that I showed you here. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video, this video to the previous step and you will see. So I'm going around here and attaching this by adding one silver then one more and reinforcing and I will continue this process until my bracelet is assembled and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and when I continue connecting my elements this is what I have my bracelet is almost ready and now I'm exiting out of this black bead and now I'm going to take five of these beautiful silver ones and I will take my jump ring and I'm going back here through this black bead, okay, like that. And I'm going here around in circle through all of my beads. Okay, go as many times as you can and now I'm going to make some knots and cut my thread. Okay, and in order to do this I'm going here after this red bead. And here what I do is that I make a loop 
and I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going in my next C bead, okay? Let's say here through the black one, okay? And I could repeat this step several more times and when I'm ready, I will go through the following seed bead and cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my stylish seed beads flower bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.